Now, hey, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Select Marksman Rifle Mod, which is being made by user Nahir. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a new custom animated Fallout friendly sniper rifle in the form of the Select Marksman Rifle. And this thing is pretty darn neat. It has a very weird aesthetic to it. But honestly, an aesthetic that I think does actually, yeah, fit in with the Fallout universe, and it is pretty fun to play with. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the Select Marksman Rifle. And this thing's a pretty fun little gun in its most standard configuration, will deal 42 damage with a 308 round with a firing rate of 4, a range of 131, accuracy of 71, and a weight of 7.5. And this thing, as you can see, is gorgeous. It's a very weird, odd looking gun. But it's very well made, and I actually really like this weird design to it. Very nice on the texturing and modeling. A lot of great details all over the place for this thing. And it's, like I said, custom animated, and uh, it is quite the animation. You can see, but being a sniper rifle, it's the pretty traditional sort of bolt action thing back here. So you might be thinking, well, what are these handles for? Yeah, that's what actually ejects the magazine, which is up here. It's weird, and I love it. <laughs> it's got a great, smooth animation to it that I've really been enjoying, and just the weapon overall is just so darn neat. And does have quite a lovely list of modifications, both for making it more damaging and useful with different sights, but also two different options for changing up the aesthetics of this thing, so you can make it look how you want this to look which is always a good to see in any mod of this variety. Now, as for how you get your hands on one of these lovely weapons, well, it's actually pretty simple. You are going to have to first find it in the world. And to do so, you're going to have to travel down to Nahant Lake over here, and just to the west of the Roadside Pines Motel, you'll find a wrecked, demolished home where this gun will be on the wall mounted on the uh, top floor of that ruin. Now, once you do have that gun in hand, it will inject itself into your life so that you can then go to any chemistry station in the world and build your very own down in this category here. And for just a couple of adhesive, rubber, screw, steel, and wood, you too can have a select marksman rifle. Pretty darn neat there. But that... Oh, that's not all, my friends. Starting at level 25, these guns will start showing up on legendary enemies so that you can get some legendary modified versions of it, which is pretty cool. Always do love when that stuff does get added. So let's take a look at what modifications we do have for this thing and head on over to our weapon workbench. And in the receiver category, we've got the pretty typical stuff of standard, calibrated, tuned, etc. But you go all the way down to the bottom, we also have an ammo conversion here to make this thing a 50 caliber. And that is going to bump up the damage quite a bit. Uh, this gun, though, frankly, is never going to be hugely damaging. It's kind of a mid-game gun, in my personal opinion. Of course, with various perks, you can up that even more. But yeah, you're never going to get it to huge numbers. Now, then in the barrel category, we've got a lot of good options here. A short light barrel, a short heavy, short heavy ported, then a long light, long heavy, and long heavy ported to help with range, accuracy, and recoil. A uh, very cool. And then in the stock category, we've got the full stock, which is the default, a short stock for, you know, things, which is weird that it says standard because the gun you find in the world has the full stock. Every time you make it the chemistry station, it has the full stock. I've never had one actually be standard with the short stock, but there you go. We also have a full light stock, a tactical stock, and a tactical light stock. All pretty good there. Now the magazines, we've got a medium magazine, a pre-chambered magazine, which will add plus one to your ammo count, a large, and then a large pre-chambered, again with plus one compared to the large magazine. A uh, Very cool there. Then in these sights, we've got the typical iron sights, two different reflex, an alternative two different reflex, 
short, medium, and long scope here. Very nice, giving you a lot of good options there for your sniping. And then in the muzzle category, we've either got nothing, a muzzle brake, compensator, or suppressor, if you like being sneaky. And then the final two categories are aesthetic stuff. The first one is the accents of this thing, where we've got the standard, a bronze accent, copper, factory finish, gold, gunmetal, and steel accents. And I do love that. It's not just changing the barrel there, but also these tie-ins, the trigger, and I'm guessing like a a sling loop or something over there, but very cool indeed. And then we have the primary, which is the uh, the wood itself, where we've got the standard, a blue stained, camo painted, camo arctic, camo desert, driftwood, factory finished, red stained, gray plastic, and finally, the aluminum red. All pretty cool, a lot of great options in here to really make this thing look you know, more like what you'd like it to look like. And I do enjoy that they're all still a little bit dirty because, hey, this is the post-apocalypse. You aren't gonna have shiny new guns. It's gonna be a bit messed up. And I enjoy that. So uh, let's take a look at this thing in action. Go ahead and grab my uh, modified versions here while we're at it and take some shots here at the range. So let's get out the standard version and fire. And there we go, and there is that cool reload animation. I really do love that. It's just so weird. A very different method of reloading than really any other gun I can think of that I've ever downloaded on the Nexus. It's just a very neat little mechanism. Kind of odd that the bullets are so far forward, but you know, all right, it's just kind of, it's kind of rule of cool, I think there. It's just an interesting, interesting gun and yeah that animation there is pretty fun now being a sniper rifle this thing is never really meant to have a just super quick fire rate i mean it's bolt action and all but the recoil is very light very controllable and the gun is super accurate even when hip firing oh it's good now let's take a look at two of the modified versions i've got the uh, a compensated calibrated one which in the 308 is the highest damage I could get for it was 63. Got some uh, cool coloring on there and a reflex sight on a bolt action sniper rifle. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> so let's grab that one and take some shots. There we go. Good times indeed there. And this one does have the large uh, plus one uh, magazine in there, so we do get a nice uh, full nine rounds, which is a pretty sweet. The normal large only gets eight, so very nice there indeed. Now let's grab ourselves the suppressed 50 cal version and see how this thing sounds when silenced. Ah, ah yes, I forgot to spawn in 50 caliber ammo. Of course I did. Of course I did. Okay, hold on a moment. Well, let's get uh, help and then uh, point of 54. Wonderful. There we go. And then player dot add item. And let's see. Is there a one F? Ooh, what was that? Two, seven, nine. Lovely. Let's add a few. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I usually make sure I've got all the ammo types ready to go with the video, but... um forgot for the 50 cal. Now let's take those shots. And there we go. Very nice there. <laughs> Would have gone a bit quicker had I not been dumb today. Mund, good times there, and I do love the different textures that you do get with these. Uh, it's very nice. I've got the gold accents on this thing with the like red stained wood there. Very cool, looks gorgeous. And with this 50 caliber uh, gun, we do a pretty decent amount of damage there at that 73. Now again, this is as usual with a character with zero additional perks and things like, you know, well, any of the gun skills. So uh, yeah, you might be able to get a fair amount more damage out of it if you go with the proper perks. But let's grab our usual death claw and fire. There we go, fire. This might take a little bit longer today. Oh boy, he's he's running away. He's running away, but 
There we go. There we go. Get him. Get him there. He's just kind of sitting by the chemistry table. Weird. Weird. I mean, I gotta admit, I do love the reload, but it is also kind of long. <laughs> it is a gorgeous animation, though. Wow, it's gonna take us a while to get him dead, I think, with this. Even with the 73 damage. Because, you know, well... Deathclaw. <laughs> Let's actually get him a little bit closer. There we go. Pull him in. Pull him in. Pull him in. Oh, boy. He's doing his little dodgy thing. Oh, God. I fell off the ladder. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Okay. Run away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Don't want to die during demo. All right. There we go. Good shot there. And got him. Got him. Reload. All right. We've almost got him down. He's about a third of his health left. Magnificent. Let's not go down the stairs anymore. How dare you try to hide behind my chemistry station, sir. All right, there we go. Nice shot there. Got him there. Oh, he moved and I missed. Of course I did. <laughs> almost. Almost got him, guys. Maybe I should have spawned in like a load, of, a load of raiders. Oh, well, we made our choice. And might be able to get him with this, uh, this magazine. He's down. All right. That took a fair few bullets, but <laughs> again, given the correct perks for you to increase the damage even more of, you know, the sink shot sort of weapons, you should be able to get a decent amount more damage out of this thing. But still, even with that, personally, I do see it as sort of a mid-game gun. But all in all, a fun weapon with a lot of uh, good modifications and just weird. And I like weird. That reload mechanism is just... So neat. <laughs> but that is going to be it for this one today, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. Oh, yes, and as usual, if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But hopefully you have enjoyed this today and come back for the next one. Until that time, thank you for watching, as always. Have a good one.